Hello, this is Lucas Zapata from the Foreman Core team, and I would like to show you Cockpit Seamless integration. As on the last demo, uh, my uh, VM was uh, not in a good shape, and I was not able to show you, so let's do it right now. So, what we have here is Foreman 124RC3, and with one small change, there was a uh, um, last remaining uh, bug in uh, SNOX policy for this uh, feature which I fixed and it should be in the 124 uh, final release. Uh, so this is a um, RHEL 7 host or CentOS 7, 7 host actually, sorry, has been installed and it has, uh, it actually has a cockpit in instance or service running um, on. So if I switch over to this host, uh, you can see a cockpit here running. So the way you um, install this is very simple. Yum, install cockpit, and then um, all you need to do is usually system control enable now cockpit, either cockpit service, which if you prefer to run service or socket, if you prefer activation, socket activation. And the last thing I did is Firewall CMD um, add service cockpits. Yeah, it's been it's already enabled, so uh, that's what I did. Uh, we actually will likely ship uh, an Ansible ISSH remote execution uh, job, so you can easily do this. Uh, Probably, maybe um, we can add a snippet to the provisioning templates as well. Uh, however, in enabling this by default, I think it's not a good idea because this opens up uh, a root uh, password uh, uh, authentication using the the cockpit service, which is probably not something you want to do. Uh, you know, not by default, right? Uh, you can do this, uh, of course, but opt as a, an opt-in. So this will not, not likely be enabled in Foreman as a default. Anyway, given the fact that we have um, uh, a RHEL or CentOS or any kind of host running with um, Cockpit running on the standard port, yeah, it's important that uh, we need to have a standard port 1990, which is I believe configurable uh, in Foreman, not sure, but it's not definitely per host, it's a, a global configuration. Um, and on this Foreman I have enabled remote execution, and one of the remote execution feature which is um, called remote execution uh, cockpit, so it's in the installer, um, in the installer um, the option is dash dash form and proxy remote execution uh, cockpit. If you enable that, uh, the cockpit uh, feature in the remote execution will be enabled. You can tell from the administrator settings remote execution cockpit because if this feature is enabled, the cockpit URL is no, now filled in with some something cryptic maybe for you. It's it's the, actually the um, relative address um, on the server that is used for you know, um, the integration. So this is how you can tell. And don't think the port is configurable, so you need to run on the 1990, uh, the default port on all your systems. Um, anyway, uh, the way it works is basically, um, I already revealed the feature name, which is seamless cockpit integration. Uh, and so it should be pretty obvious it's, um, uh, seamless or single sign-on, uh, seamless uh, authentication. So on this instance, on this server, I'm going to uh, um, log out and I'm going to even close the close the tab. And now I let's head over to my host, which is here. And if you enable the remote execution uh, cockpit feature, you'll notice there is a new button here called Web Console. We, we, we're we using this um, Red Hat uh, branded uh, term. I'm not sure if we should be using cockpits uh, upstream in, in the form of upstream project. Maybe we'll change it, maybe not. Anyway, web, web console equals cockpit, Just uh, that's, that's just the words. 
and the way it works is you just click on this and using um, some kind of a handshake and uh, authentication mechanisms between cockpit and foreman uh, this would give you cockpit uh, you know um, immediately without any you know uh, uh, without any um, entering a username or password the way it works is that the foreman needs to have ssh key to the to the host it actually uses ssh to initiate the communication and to to uh, hand over some tokens. So basically, uh, let me click on that, and that's it. So, you know, as you can see, we are on this. Uh, everything should should be working. You know, and as you can see, uh, the URL is actually foreman uh, slash webcon. So, uh, you know, the, the my my browser is actually connected to to the foreman, not to the host. And the foreman, using a foreman proxies, is you know doing the the hard work of you know. Uh, handing over the, the, the request and response uh, for me. So um, if I sign off, you know, uh, I can go back and sign in again. So this is it guys, uh, tiny little feature which is very nice. Uh, uh, this was delivered by uh, uh, Marcus Vollmer, um, Ivan Nechas, Adam Ruzicka and others. I'm just presenting this feature, so like, um, give give it a like if you want, and uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone if you're uh, into this, and uh, and I have a nice weekend, and see you later. Goodbye.